Hi everybody, this is Just Simply Crafty Creations and I finally, finally have some stuff for you guys to see that I've been working over for the last few days. Some of them I'm totally not happy with, especially with my Hello Kitty faces. I glazed them and they're still like three days ago and they're still sticky. I cleaned them down with alcohol, it's still sticky. I don't know what else to do with this, so I'm really upset with this, but yeah, this is one of them. This is a necklace, if you can see. It's rhinestone bow and glasses. That's the nerdy one. I made a pink one. That's the pink one with a pink bow, pink glasses, nerdy one. This is a necklace. Hopefully this one will finally dry. And then I made a bunch of these. This one is going to be a ring because I made it thinner than the necklace and those are still freaking wet and I'm not liking it this is another one hello kitty and I put for their eyes whatever color they bow was I put for their eyes so if they bows were red they get red eyes if they like this one is purple and pink she got pink eyes and purple glasses and hot pink and purple bow so yeah, this one is a ring. It's going to be a ring. But as you see, if you can see through the camera, it's still kind of tacky and wet. This one is a necklace. See, that one's a little thicker. And I am have some bowls that's going to go with these. And I got this idea for the nerdy ones. Not this one, but for the nerdy. Here's another one, a nerdy one. For the nerdy ones, I got this one from Wendy. Jean Lewis or something like that. Um, she's on my web um, channel as well, but I'll post her information. So this is inspired by her. She had did them um, nerdy Hello Kitty. I just did my glasses a little different than she did. And yeah, that is um, um, some of the Hello Kitty pieces that I'm working on that still wet and um, I'm upset because if they don't dry, I'm gonna have to like toss them or something. And then I worked on the dominoes last night. I'll show you guys. I colored them. This is the leftover ones. I didn't get to do them yet. But um, for this one, these are the colors. I dyed them and I already mop mop podged them. I, I guess that's what you call them. So they sealed. I didn't coat. I only just coated this side. Here's some other colors that I did. I like this one because it's like pink and blue, really, and and it's pink and blue. And this is a yellow, um, purple, like the multicolor. And I went back over it like several times to get this purplish look. I actually love the way they came out. Because in the previous video, I didn't know it wasn't looking so good. But I, I realized what my mistake was. Um, I bought the wrong alcohol. See, I have this alcohol and is 90, if you can see it right there. 91% where it should be 70 or less. So that was my mistake when I put poured it on a pad, adapted it on a pad. But these are the ones that I haven't did anything with. So they inside of this, I'll be working on them on these sometime this week. Um, some of them I'll probably be stamping them. Um, some of them I'll be putting stickers on. But because of the colors, they're so like mature looking. I don't want to stick like a kiddish type of sticker on there and it doesn't really go oh so as you see i drilled a hole just to see with my drill my um hand handy drill my hand um jewelry drill and put an eye pin in so i'm gonna show you the ones that i did work on which were these so this one is the finish i put i use um axing glossy accent to give it that glossy layer what i did these are stickers on here and i gave i put rhinestones like for her crown i put a rhinestone for the eye of the seahorse i put a rhinestone and those are like look like bubbles so yeah that's what this one is and i put a jump ring so that it will be stringed along these i'm gonna dip these in um resin to glue um the seal the whole entire thing so that it does not 
um, bleed on anyone's clothes but yeah these you can make a pendant or you can actually make these into keychains so here's another one I did this is a music note one that I did same thing same colors I love how it came out oh it dripped a little bit right there but it's all right I drilled a hole and that's the back and here's another one i did a seahorse looking one and this is like a reef and i put rhinestones as their eyes and with the blue rhinestones on this this reef you see it looked like it was water bubbles going up so i just put it in blue and i just thought the colors clashed very well with the stickers that i picked so yeah that's the seahorse one and this is another music note one with stars these are all the ones that I did last night. And this is the last one. I don't know for some reason at all. And this one's my favorite because the way I positioned the fish. Like it looked like a fish in a bubble firm. And I put rhinestones as you can see. It's reflecting. It's kind of shiny. And this one I put another fish the opposite way with a bubble. So it looks like it's swimming up. I don't know. It just looks so pretty with the background of this domino that I did. Yeah. And the inks that I used, which were um, by Tim Holt. I'll show you guys the inks that I used. These are the inks that I use. I have a whole bunch, but these are some of them. Some of the inks that I use, the alcohol inks, they're expensive. You get three in a pack for $9.99. But um, I had a 40% off coupon, so I paid um, $6 and some change for them. So I think I bought three packs. And um, altogether, like all of this stuff, they probably would have came up to like a hundred or something dollars. I spent like 40 bucks on all of my supplies because I use the coupon for mostly everything that I purchased. So yeah, those are um, some of the pieces that I did over the weekend, including over here, I did this heart with um, sprinkles. I haven't finished it yet. Another heart with sprinkles. I haven't did anything with these as of yet. And another one. These are like little squares. These will be keychains. I just have to finish them. I haven't sanded them. I haven't did anything with these. So these are in the incomplete box, as you can see. And yeah, that's all of the stuff. So um, please do subscribe and leave a comment. And happy crafting. Thank you for watching.